Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Today I have a very exciting video. I have an oracle reading for you because it is a new moon on January 27th in Aquarius. And I just wanted to give you some guidance because some beautiful energies that are coming about. So without further ado, I have my beautiful oracle cards from Doreen Virtue, and I'm just gonna shuffle them and see what energies come out. Oh my gosh, the energies are strong today. When I was shuffling, about four cards fell out. So, let's see what God, universe, divine energies has for us today, because we would like some guidance for our beautiful MK Love fam. So, oh, let's just choose one card at a time, universe, please. Just one card. I always do it from whenever a card falls out. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, look at the card. The law of attraction. Oh, I love this. Each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends. So invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony. At your request, we will gradually attune your energies to higher frequencies. Oh my gosh, I was just recording a video about visualization, which was part of my Law of Attraction series. Gosh, universe. I just love card readings. Okay, uh, what was it called? Law of Attraction. Oh, there we go. The angels gave you this card as a reminder that the law of attraction can help you improve the situation you're inquiring about. Complaints and worries only attract more of the same. So elevate your thoughts, which will help with the help of the angels to attune what you desire. Several times a day, imagine that the situation was pleasantly healed and perfectly manifested. Feel gratitude that it is already so in spirit, which is the first part of attracting the material aspects to the situation. Additional meanings, think about your desires and avoid worrying or complaining. Rise up to the level of the person that you wish to attract. As your spiritual energy increases, you'll find yourself less attracted to lower energies in relationships and situations. That is so true. I hardly associate with people that bring me down. I just stop chatting to them and then phase them out. This is normal and the energies can help you deal with these endings and beginnings. Wow. Look how beautiful that card is. To me, I see the angel as like the mother and she's picking up her young one, giving her some cuddles to be like, you know what, it's all right, my love, you can do this. Like you have the power to change your world. It all starts with what you think and when you raise, well, when you elevate your frequency by including your self-love practices, eating vegan foods in their whole natural state by exercising. When you elevate your frequencies, I have noticed from my own personal experiences that I'm manifesting so much quicker. So much quicker. Okay, next card, please, universe. Whoa, that was quick. Holy moly. <sighs> Notice the signs. Yes, the signs that you've been receiving are heaven said. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you are loved and you are never alone. Look at this, this one here. The signs. My signs today, 2-2. Two, two. When I recorded one video for Instagram, it came up as 22 seconds. When I recorded another video for YouTube, which was a part of my KonMari series, was 2 minutes 22. I've been, I see so many numbers. I will make you a, um, a video about numerology. I'll probably have to make you a series because there's so much involved. Anyway, let's choose our third card, please. Universe, angels, beautiful guidance. That follows on with the law of attraction and notice the signs. Oh my God, how amazing is the end of January? New moon in Aquarius. Universe. <laughs> These are my favorite readings ever. 
I mean favorite videos. Okay. So we had two very forceful energies. The third one's a little bit subtle. It's taking a little extra. Now remember that this is just a general reading. So just work out what feels right for you. And whatever pops into your head, the first thought is exactly what this situation is about, which is lovely. Oh my gosh, it's taking a while. Okay, universe, just one more card. Please. Okay, there we go. Holy crap. The entrepreneur card. <laughs> Self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divide guidance. Mm -hmm. We are your co-workers and your teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure all success in all ways. Did I read that right? by your side to ensure your success in all ways. Okay, let's read more about the entrepreneur. Oh, I didn't read, did I read? No, I didn't read about Notice the Signs. Let's see what else it says in Notice the Signs and I'll go into the other one. I was wondering why that was so quick. Okay. Um, so we're going back to this one because I forgot to read it. So this is when coins and um, feathers drop. It says the angels gave you this card to help you understand the angels, the, the signs that you've been receiving lately. These signs may include feathers, coins, butterflies, birds, or other receptive visions that make you think of the angels who have deliberately sent you the signs to let you know that they're nearby protecting, loving, and guiding you. It's funny that they talk about butterflies because the other day mum posted on Instagram um, a picture of a butterfly and she was missing Jessie remember my dog that passed away and she knew by seeing the butterfly her intuition was telling her that Jessie was there which was really cute additional meanings to the card your departed loved ones holy shit mom I hope you're watching this one your departed loved ones in heaven are saying hello I love you oh my god I'm oh Notice and believe in the repetitive signs you received as validation that you're on the right path. Have faith, follow the signs that are guiding you to your heart's desires. Oh, isn't that amazing? I love this card because my mum, who has never really been into any of this crazy hippie stuff that she calls it, is now in tune with herself and it all came about when she became vegan when she stopped eating animal flesh which is infiltrated with negative energies and you take on the fear hormones when the animals are slaughtered and when you eat dead animal flesh you take on the energies of that animal so I think that's amazing and also another beautiful one too because Peter's mum recently saw um, a feather and she knew that it was her dad, which is really beautiful. Wow, what an emotional reading. Okay, we're going back to the entrepreneur card. Wow. This card comes to you because you're well suited to self-employment. You have the ideas, the drive, and the self-discipline required for entrepreneurial work. Yet, self-doubts make you hesitate. The angels reassure you that you have what it takes to su succeed as an entrepreneur. They will guide and support you along the way and as long as you follow through with this action, your success is assured. Before I read the additional meanings, if anyone is have, has that entrepreneurial spirit or that drive, read Big Magic, Creative Living Beyond Fear by Elizabeth Gilbert. She is the author behind Eat, Pray, Love. I read that book recently. It honestly changed my mind and I've just fallen in love with Elizabeth Gilbert. Okay, also additional meanings to that one. Your ideas for a business are sound. Ease out of your present job by moonlighting with your desired business idea. What does that mean? Can someone tell me in the comments below, what does that mean by moonlighting with your desires? I'm assuming, like if you read Big Magic, it will say, don't quit your day job. Do not quit your day job because it's going to mess with your creativity, which I did. I have done that. Anyway, it says take action as you're guided with respect to your career. Fully commit to succeeding in your new business. 
what the heck? So today we started with the Law of Attraction card and then it was about notice the signs and then the entrepreneurial card. Let's just do one more. Just one more just to clarify that one because not everyone is an entrepreneur, so. <sighs> okay, and just one more card because everyone's not an entrepreneur. We need a little bit more guidance for the new moon energies in Aquarius around December 27, 28, depending on where you live in the world. I just need one more, please. One more. Everyone is an entrepreneur. Whoa, jeez. Okay, the one that actually fell. <laughs> Let go of your past. You heard that song where it goes, um, free your mind and the rest will follow. That's a, that's a song that just came to mind as soon as that card came up. She looks very weary. She needs to watch my video, how to release physical and emotional blockages. And she really needs to watch my Law of Attraction series. She needs to watch the Law of Attraction series as well. Okay, what does it say? The burdens of carting your past around has made you weary. Dear one, it's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it and it is now gone. It's kind of like, see this part here? I don't know if you can see that. It's like she's looking back in the past. It's like, you don't need to love. Look how beautiful you are. And it's like, stop looking back, turn around, start walking forth and have some balls about you to know that you are doing the right thing. Why does she look so sad? Well, we think about it, 2016 kicked our ass massively. 2017, it's kind of like, oh, it's hard when you, when you end a chapter and then you start a new one, like it is hard. But <laughs> have any of you read that book? It's called A Breakup Because It's Broken. Like well, think about 2016. It was broken for a reason. So stop dwelling on it and pick yourself back up. Because there's beautiful things around the corner because you know, the best, like, oh, I was gonna say the best things in life are free. No, that's not the one I was gonna say. The best is yet to come. It, every, it just gets continuously better. I can't even think of the alphabet now. What comes L, M, N, O, P. <laughs> okay, you received this card because your thoughts and feelings of the past are holding you back. <laughs> oh, cut through. You're repeating a pattern because of unfin unfinished emotions from your past. This card is a sign to forgive and move on to stop painful patterns. It doesn't mean that you need to be with the person you've forgiven. Oh. It simply means that you let toxic feelings go in exchange for peace. Additional meanings. Approach a new situation or relationship with positive expectations. Avoid routines. Speak to a counsellor or a support group. Forgive those who have hurt you. Forgive yourself. The worst is now behind you. Keep your thoughts about the situation high and bright. So. Let's recap on this fabulous, oh, oh my gosh. What is with the energy of the entrepreneur card? I wasn't sure about it, but the universe is like, dude, you need to put it in there. Low attraction, notice the signs, entrepreneur, go for it. What's the story that's coming to mind when those cards come past? Anyways, my love, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Please let me know your thoughts and what situations came up for you. I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Remember, continue to make better choices. Subscribe to my channel. Videos every Tuesday and Sunday at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Enjoy this beautiful new moon in Aquarius. Uh, uh, Aquarius. Did I say, oh, you know sometimes when you say a word, so Aquarius, that's it. You know when you say it so many times it sounds wrong and you're like, Ugh. anyway. Enjoy your, enjoy this new moon. I need to have a little breather. This is the third video film back to back and I need to have some water because I'm all out. Anyways, my love, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Well, I know you did because I did. 
How amazing were the energies that came up? Anyway, I love you so much. I will see you next episode. Bye.